Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Michael and today I'm going to be sharing another recipe with you. Today we're going to be making a limoncello. This is a lemon liqueur that is served after your meal. It's predominantly found in southern Italy and we're going to be using lemons today and we're going to go ahead and get that process started. So I've got eight lemons here and these are organic lemons and I've given these a good wash. If you don't have the organic ones, just make sure you give them a good wash because a lot of the regular lemons and things will come in with just a little bit of wax on the outside. That just protects the lemons while they're in the store until they get to you to eat. Definitely you want to give those a wash and if you see any of that wax on there, you can feel it. You can definitely take that off. These are organic so I did wash these and we're going to go ahead and take this off. So if you've seen some of my videos on how I peel lemons, I've got a lemon pepper video on my uh, channel that I use the same technique. So what you want to do is just get a potato peel or something like that. If you can use a knife, if you don't have one of these, and you want to give your lemon a peel. And what we're going to do is you just want the outside part of it. You don't want to get down deep into the white part of it because that white part is really bitter. So you just want to take the outside part of it off and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and peel all of these lemons and I'll be back in just a minute. All right, I am back and I've got my lemons peeled now and I wanted to show you what that looked like. So all we wanted to do was just get the outside off of it because when we go to our next step, we want to be able to pull those natural oils out of those lemon skins and that fragrance of those is going to release into our mixture as well. So we've got those there. I've got a container here. You want something that's going to be big enough that you can put your lemon skins in and we're going to be using 750 milliliters of Everclear pure grain alcohol. If you can't find this or they don't sell it where you are, it could be restricted from you uh, being able to purchase this. You can use vodka. It doesn't have a lot of uh, flavors in the vodka, so it definitely won't embark a lot of it because we want a lot of that coming from our lemons here. So pure grain alcohol Everclear is what you want. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and put my lemon peels into my container. All right, now that we've got our lemon peels in our container, we're going to take our alcohol and we're going to put this on the top of our lemons. Now that we've got our Everclear and we've got the top here, we're going to go ahead and put that on the top. And we just want to kind of give that a little shake around and that way everything gets mixed together with that. And you want to put this someplace that's cool and dark. So if you want to put this in your pantry, you can. If you put it on your can shelf, you can definitely uh, put it there. If you want to put it in your cabinets, just anywhere that's going to be where it can sit untouched for 20 days or about three weeks. So for the first two or three days, if you want to, you can kind of come in and give it a little bit of a uh, swirl around and get some of that, those oils and things. You'll notice by about day three that this color of the alcohol in here is going to turn a little bit more of a yellow color. And that is a good sign because that's what you want to do. So we're going to leave this on our shelf. I'm going to put this in one of the cabinets back here and we'll leave this for 20 days. And when I come back, we'll move on to our next step. I am back. It's been 30 days now. Let it sit in there a little bit longer. The longer you let it sit in there past the 20 days that I had originally said, the more that oils will come out of those lemon peels and infuse into that alcohol. So if you want to leave it in there a little bit longer, you definitely can. 20 days will be the minimum that I would recommend leaving it in there. So now that we've got that, you can see we've got a nice color on our uh, alcohol now. And that is taking all of those oils out of those lemon peels. So we've got a nice mixture here and we're ready to move on to our next step. So now we're getting ready to make our simple syrup that we'll be adding to our lemon cello. And I've got four and three quarters cup of water here. And I've got my little hot plate turned on here high. And I'm going to add in two and two thirds cup of sugar. And we're going to add that and mix that together. All right, so I've got the white granulated sugar in with the water now, and I have given a little bit of a stir through. I don't feel the grit on the bottom of the pan anymore, but we're not wanting this to cook like I said earlier. I just want to kind of bring this up to just shy of a boil so that the liquid turns clear on it. So I'm going to continue to stir this, and I'll let you see it when I get ready to turn off the heat. All right, I am back and I wanted to show you what that looked like. We've got our simple syrup here. You can see how clear that is. We did not want to bring that to a boil. So I've got this turned off now and I'm going to let this sit here and let it cool down to room temperature and then we'll move on to our next step. Stick with me. I am back and my simple syrup has cooled down. You definitely want this to come down to room temperature and then we're ready to go ahead and get everything combined together now. So I've got my uh, alcohol with my lemon peels here and I'm going to go ahead and take the top off of this. And I've got a really fine strainer here and I've got a spoon here. And if you haven't seen my little hack on how 
I do this where you keep the uh, little strainers from falling into things. Check out some of my videos. I have a lot of tools of the day, tips of the day, different things that I do. Definitely check that out. This is one way to keep that from falling down into the bowl itself. So we'll go ahead and add our alcohol now and we want to strain out the peels. And I definitely wanted to show you these peels on these. There's not a lot left in them. The alcohol has pulled everything out of the peels themselves and that's what has given that that nice yellow color that we see here. And you can see here that our lemon peels, they're almost brittle from the point where the alcohol has removed everything out of those. So you don't really have to squeeze these because you're not going to get anything out of them because as I just showed you there, they're pretty dry where it is. So now that I have my lemon infused alcohol into my container here, I'm going to take my simple syrup and we're going to add that to it. Let's give this a little stir. Now that I've got everything combined up, we want to store this. If you're just storing it for yourself, you can definitely put a lid on it and put it in the refrigerator. We want to let this sit for another seven days. The longer you let it sit, those flavors begin to marry together and meld and will make a nice lemon cello. So definitely you can drink it right now. The longer you let it sit, the better it'll be. So I'm going to put this in the refrigerator once I get it in another container and let it sit in there for seven days. And then you can put it in the freezer if you want to. You can definitely put it in there and chill it down even more and have it when you're ready to have your drink. So I've got these little swing lid jars that I've got here and I'm going to put my limoncello on those. You can definitely leave it in that if you don't have one of these. These make great gifts. So if you want to get the smaller ones, I definitely make smaller ones of these and you can disperse this out and give it to your friends that might like the limoncello as a nice beverage after a meal. So I've got a funnel here and I'm going to go ahead and funnel some of my drink into this and we'll go ahead and get this put away. All right, my limoncello, I was able to put it in both of these bottles and I've got a little shot glass here, which I'll be giving that a taste in just a second. And I've got just a little bit left in the bottom of this. So definitely this recipe that I've got today will fill up two of these size bottles. I'll put the link in the description box below of what these sizes are here. So you can definitely just close these up like this. They've got a little rubber seal on the top of them. Put them in the refrigerator, let them sit in there for another seven days and let those flavors all marry and merge together in there. That sugar and those lemons and that alcohol will come together and make a nice drink. Let me know in the comment section if you've ever had limoncello. I would love to hear from you. And definitely, if you tried this recipe, I definitely want to hear from you on how you think this turns out. And if you like this content, maybe you might consider giving me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And check out one of those other two videos over here on the side. You might find something else you like. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out this limoncello. I know you're going to love it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye now. That is delicious.